What's going on there, Brian Kleppe? Not too much. Um, tagged out on my buck already. Tagged out day five, four, three, something like that, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah day five. Day five. First time I've been out. <laughs> Welcome to the obsession. We are going to talk about Brian's hunt, and then we're going to show it to you. Cool. So, big cold front. Major cold front. Major cold front. Lots of deer moving. Oh, tons. You've seen how many bucks? Uh, nine, and it could have been as many as 11. I could have been, two other, a couple of them could have been the same. Yeah. I'm not really 100% sure, but yeah, at least nine. And how many, how many deer did Cole see? Cole figured he's seen between 30 and 40. In the field, In though. the field. Yeah. But why don't you just lay it out for people and tell them kind of where you were hunting uh, and why you were hunting that spot? Uh, so it's an inside corner set. I've had that stand on that farm since 2007. I've actually shot a buck out of it in 2008 over a decoy. Uh, it's primarily, I primarily have left it there. Some years it seems to be more productive than others. And that's probably due to the crop layout. It, yeah, right? due to the crop layout. Some years it's more productive than others. This year I knew it was probably going to be good because it had brand new uh, fresh alfalfa seeding there this year. Yep. And there was a corn strip butted up to it, but the corn's still there, so I just thought it was kind of a kind of a no-brainer that I figured they're going to hit the greens and maybe head to the corn if they you know, if they wanted to, which they did, <laughs> but uh, they just, they were coming out, the deer were coming out everywhere. The first three deer that I had come out was a, was a smaller eight and a spike and a four corn. That was the first three deer that came out. I'd probably been in the stand 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. What time did you get in? Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock afternoon hunt. Yep, afternoon hunt. Big cold front. Like I said, at the beginning of the show last week, we got this big cold front coming in. It's going to be a pretty big deal. Yeah, Sunday, this was, I shot this buck on Wednesday evening, or afternoon, whatever, and Sunday it was 90. Yep. And I believe it was probably around yep. 62, 63 on Wednesday. Yeah, when I was driving down, it was 62, 63 degrees. Southwestern Wisconsin. Yep. Yep. And I sat there that night. I knew the wind could have been a little bit questionable. It was it was north, and I noticed that it was supposed to switch northeast, which northeast is a little bit better for it. But uh, I was kind of limited on my options of because I didn't expect a northwest wind in right. early September. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, a lot of my stands really like that. I try to set up for that southerly. Which that's more that stands more suited for that, but you can get away with a little bit there. It's in a pine tree, and I always say maybe the pine tree does maybe breaks. cover your breaks your sun a little bit. Maybe the other thing too is you are on the edge of a steep drop yeah, it's off a, right there. It's a steep drop off behind you, and I figured I figured they were probably going to come out over towards the corn strip more, and I figured the wind wasn't going to be. You know, too big of an issue, which it it, it it wasn't. That's where your buck came from. Yeah, that's where he. But came the from. other buck came right out in the corner, right beside me. Which was another buck that you could have shot, or might have thought about shooting, or were gonna shoot. But yeah. I'll let you talk about that and the, well, <laughs> see how that goes. He came out, and uh, I grabbed my bow and I went to stand up. You know, being on a sitting in a ladder stand, the the platform where my feet were, were was extremely small, so I I couldn't get a good base to to get a you know draw it a solid to, so I could get a solid shot off. So I went to put my leg up on where I was sitting, and I got a major cramp in my leg, <laughs> and I almost tipped over. So here I am trying to rub that cramp out of my leg, and by the time I looked back up, he was at 20 yards. When he first came out, and my first thought was, "Oh, you're dead." <laughs> and you know, well, by the time I could get to where I could draw on him, he had he had quartered hard away, and it just wasn't a shot that I just I just really wasn't comfortable taking. 
No. And so I, I watched him walk away. Yeah, well, over to the other one. Well, he walked over to the other side of the field, and then the other buck that I ended up shooting came back out. They were both terrific bucks. I'd have been happy to have shot obviously I've shot either one of them. Yeah. And, you know, and I still thought, you know, at that point I didn't rule out that they, you know, they hadn't went anywhere. Right. I, I you know, I never ruled out the fact that any time they could come back or decide to come back over and go back in beside me. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, that night in general, I mean, I seen 11 deer, Sean seen like 8 or 9 deer, Mike seen like 8 or 9 deer. We're all on different parts of the state. That cold front was a pretty big deal. And Brian was in the right place at the right time because he thought it all out and knew there was some good deer in there. And that inside corner hunt on the killing corner has always been good. We both shot antlers, multiple antlers multiple, this deer out of multiple. there. So we're going to show you guys the hunt with Brian. He's all tagged out, so he's cameraman. Right on, right on. Well, there's plenty of does on that farm to shoot you. <laughs> so check this hunt out. We'll see you guys at the end of the show. Thanks for watching The Obsession. All right, everybody. Uh, it's September the 22nd here, in southern Wisconsin. Uh, it's my first evening out, uh, first set of the year for me. Uh, opted not to go opening weekend because the temperatures are really warm. Wanted to go last night, but work happened and just couldn't get out. So tonight, uh, I'm sitting uh, in a stand that if you followed our stuff over the years. Uh, called the the killing corner and uh, I've taken a number of antlerless deer out of this stand over the years uh, that's where I'm set up tonight uh, got a nice lush alfalfa out in front of me here got a northeast wind it's kind of dumping it straight back behind me we got a corn strip out there not sure what we're gonna see for sure uh, can't see too much tucked back in this corner but 
anyhow, it's the first sit of the year and I'm glad to be out. Uh, Cole's actually in another set that we got, oh, probably two, three hundred yards away from here called the short set. It's a real uh, short stand, about seven, eight feet off the ground. Has real excellent cover in an aspen tree that that uh, he's in tonight. So I see he just texted me, so hopefully he's in and ready to rock. Uh, anyhow, we're gonna sit here tonight, uh, primarily looking for antlerless deer, but obviously if it's the right buck, I'm never gonna not take that opportunity. So actually this year I'm running the. Is always running the Black Eagle uh, Spartan Bow Rise for me this year. I'm actually uh, shooting the Elite Encore. I uh, haven't been shooting it too awful long. Uh, still getting kind of comfortable with it, but it's a great shooting bow and a little bit longer axle to axle than I normally hunt with. I think we'll be okay with it, anyhow. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy the evening and see what we see. So stay with us. Well, it's been pretty pretty busy here like the last half hour or so now. I've had three bucks that came out first. As you can see, I had it on film here. Uh, now I just had another uh, buck come out. Plus there's, I believe, a doe and a couple of yearlings or a couple of fawns. And there's actually more deer up the field farther. So they're kind of coming out kind of in the middle. Uh, not out of the corner like I hoped they would, but it's still early yet. It's got easily an hour and a half of shooting light left, so you know, it's uh, pretty exciting. The bucks were kind of pushing each other around, acting like tough guys, so kind of neat. Kind of poking around at that older, older adult doe, which I was hoping maybe she would come a little bit closer, but yeah, it is what it is. Still uh, good to see deer, so it always makes it a little more exciting, so we'll see something 
I expect more deer to come out yet.
All right, well, <clears throat> it's the next morning. Here, uh, last night you seen me shot that buck. Um, I didn't I'll give much of an update last night. We decided to back out. To, uh, was a little bit unsure of the shot. Uh, we reviewed the footage on the big TV at home. It looks like a good shot. Uh, he ran away hard, tail tucked. We just didn't find a lot of blood and a lot of encouraging sign last night so I decided to, to back out and and I knew it was going to be a cooler night which uh, it's 40 degrees right now so he should be okay still as long as the coyotes didn't get a hold of him uh, so I don't have a camera guy today so I'm doing this on my own and hopefully I have an easy drag if I do find him so Stay with us and we will see if we can go find him. All right, well, I just happened to pick up the blood trail here. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to follow it here and uh, see where she goes and see which direction he might have went here. Oh, there's some more. Let me cut back up. Looks like he bled pretty good right here. And up there's some more. More. Bled pretty good now. There's more. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Nice deer. <clears throat> Look at that. That's the earliest I've ever shot a buck. Uh, I believe September 25th, but 22nd's the earliest. And well, the first time I've been out hunting this year. So, all right. We're going to go get a knife, because I didn't bring mine with me. It's back in the field, so get him dressed out and drag him up out of here. I think he'll be okay. It was cold last night. so Here is my buck from last out, evening. I uh, recovered him this morning after uh, backing out last night. It paid off. I wasn't sure of the shot. And uh, I played it back a couple different times at home on the TV last night. It looked like a good hit. But I just wasn't sure. I didn't worry too much. The cold temperatures last night, we had 39 this morning. I was more worried about the coyotes chewing on him. And uh, they never got a hold of him. So I'm glad we backed out and and uh, found blood right away this morning. And he wasn't too far away. So I'm glad we did that. He is a beautiful buck. I've never gotten one this early. And he has a beautiful short short hair he's gonna be a beautiful mount I can't wait to see what he looks like on my wall he's just pretty the real slick hair he's just awesome uh, I don't know what to say I'm kind of at a loss for words the black eagle Spartan did his job again I had a lot of success with that arrow over the years I'm actually a little bit disappointed I had some old expandables I wanted to get rid of I thought well I'll shoot them up at some does and Never expected this deer to come out last night, and anyway, uh, the expandable did the job, it worked, but I can't say that, you know, it would have been a different outcome with my old reliable Exodus QADs. I guess this guy never knows, they're tough animals. But you know, you can't preach these September cold fronts. You know, we had a 20 some degree temperature change in a couple of days. And the deer were just really on their feed. The last night was the first night I had hunted. Uh, I opted not to go out opening weekend because of the warm temperatures. And uh, the last night was my first night out. I seen nine bucks last night, plus a variety of antlerless deer. I had one other shooter buck come out and uh, actually had him in range. And I went to stand up and I got a cramp in my leg. And by the time I could get the cramp out of my leg, he was 
where I didn't have a shot at him. But I watched this buck a couple different times for probably an hour before he decided to come across the field to check out a couple other smaller bucks. And uh, for whatever reason, he just heard something behind me or whatever. He got curious and he started coming my way and he offered me a shot at 28 yards and I made a great hit on him. He top of the heart and came out right where they should. Uh, just tough animals. Anyhow, I'm beyond excited. Uh, now I get to be camera guy and put coal on coal on a buck. Uh, I put a lot of effort in this season, putting up some real terrific spots that I thought would be great during the rut, and I'm probably done. But uh, I'll still be out here. I can uh, keep watching for bucks for Coleman and see if we can get him on one.